I was not paid by any company or government to make this video. I do not condone, support or promote the regime of North Korea in any manner whatsoever. Please do your own research. North Korea. North Korea. The propaganda. Kim Jong-un, his regime. Human rights. Prison camps. The ballistic missile. An auto warm beer. It was a moment for the history books. The f I am not a journalist. I am just some kid with a consumer camera who was lucky enough to gain access into the most isolated and controlled country in the world. This video series is a product of that. DPRK, Democratic People's Republic of Korea, otherwise known as North Korea. Today, woken up on this seaside resort that's sitting on a pier in the biggest seaport town of North Korea. Today we are heading to the mountains, I believe, and we're going hiking. That should be a, a pretty good trip, just having my morning coffee here. What do I normally do in the mornings here is I wake up about an hour before the bus leaves, have a coffee and just look out the window because from here I've got views of I've got the city over here and then over here I have the the sea. Those shots that you just saw were what I can see from the window so pretty cool hotel room here and it's massive. You know I wasn't expecting it to be this nice. It is extremely retro. It's very old school design and things but I like these kind of rooms you know they got a lot of character. Without any further ado we've got about a three hour drive to the mountains and then I guess we'll be hiking um, in North Korea. So yeah, let's go. Alright guys, so we've just been driving for maybe an hour or so. Sorry about the footage being a bit bumpy, but the roads are really not the best. <laughs> so we've just stopped at this tea house on the beach here. Beautiful. We've only got like 10 minutes here, which is a shame, but got to get moving so we can go hiking. It's so amazing just seeing that, that farmland and the workers and things, and it really is a time machine. I'll get a couple shots of this beach area, get back on the road, then we have lunch and then we go hiking. You see all the buildings here are like from a different time period. It's uh, kind of trapped in time once you leave Pyongyang and Pyongyang there's lots of modern buildings and things but once you go out of Pyongyang, the capital, then everything is back in time kind of. So the mountain is about and we...
Hey guys, so we just arrived in this village here below what's called Diamond Mountain, which we're going to be climbing soon. I'll show you the landscape, it's pretty beautiful. But this hotel is like seriously luxurious compared to what we've been staying in. I'll give you a little tour in just a second, but we're just here for a little while just checking in and then we're going to a lagoon and then we're having lunch and then we're climbing mountains. Let me show you this room and uh, then I'll show you the view. So this is the door where you come in. You've got a nice bathroom here. It's really modern um, compared to where else we have been. And nice clean sheets. Uh, and then check that out. Beautiful. So I'm not sure which one of these mountains we're going to be climbing, but it's about an eight kilometer hike today, so we'll get all sorted here and head off. Surprised again. Instead of going to the lagoon, we ended up driving straight to lunch. It was another incredible spread. Different kinds of mushrooms, salads, little wraps, kimchi, soup. For the meat eaters, they brought out this boiling hot river stone that they had preheated, and then they sat the meat on top of it. And if you wanted to, you could cook your own meat. I believe it was pork, I'm not sure. I didn't try it, but my friend said it was delicious. All right guys, so we've had lunch. Now we're walking up this mountain. I think we're going to just under 900 meters above sea level today. But this pathway is really nice uh, through the trees. We got these big beautiful bridges here and just huge mountains all surrounding us. And you can see they've got Korean riding on them. Some of this, these engravings are 10 meters high, a few meters wide, and one meter deep. There's some guys painting the bridge here. Hello. Yeah. And sometimes they say things about the grand leaders. I'm not sure what that one said, but the other one said. Got another maybe hour or so to go. It's like eight kilometers. And we're kind of allowed to walk on our own here, so it's nice to get some breathing space. These guys are just holding on to the side of these massive bridges, painting them, holding on with one hand. It's extreme. Arrived at the top, this waterfall is so Majestic. Check it out. And there's scriptures carved into the side. So we just made it to the top of this other mountain we climbed up from that waterfall you just saw and there's seriously epic views. <laughs> you will not believe this. Check it out. Seriously incredible. This is some of the coolest nature I've seen. Well, like most unique. It's just crazy how this is North Korea, you know? Totally not expecting this. And the walking trails are in great condition. They're all like freshly painted. <laughs> the reason that this is so well maintained is because it was originally made for South Korean tourists. This whole area was leased by Hyundai, the same company that makes the cars. 
and they built the hotel that we're staying in is actually built by a South Korean company and still owned but now South Koreans aren't allowed in here anymore because of an incident where a South Korean was shot. Long story, I'll explain it later. But yeah, this whole area was leased. Thousands and thousands of South Korean tourists coming here. That stopped after that incident. But this is actually the area where the South Koreans are united with their families from North Korea. When that happens, it normally takes place in this area back down in the town where our hotel is. So pretty interesting. Anyway, I'll show you some more shots of this whole area because it's truly something stunning. Check it out. So all done with that hike there and just out of this world scenery and all to ourselves. We were the only people there. A few of us from the group went to the very top and as you could see from the views there, it was absolutely stunning. So very lucky to have that all to ourselves. I mean, who knows in the future, maybe it'll be really busy, but for now, it's just ours. Now we're heading to another kind of landscapey, beautiful area, some kind of a lagoon area. Again, not sure what to expect, but let's go and see. From here we drove to the lagoon, but on the way we passed this building. And this building here is where the North and South Korean families are reunited when it does happen. It's very rare when it has happened in the past. It's happened at these buildings here. Pretty special location. And then we arrived at the lagoon, beautiful lagoon here. And then we headed back to the hotel. All right, guys, back from that hike. You see those last few clips. That was just checking out the lagoon. Pretty beautiful, just like the other walk we did up that mountain. Incredible scenery. I think it's kind of similar to Chinese scenery, obviously, but no tourists. As I said before, there used to be thousands and thousands of tourists here coming from South Korea, but since that incident where the South Korean was shot, um, it's completely cut off the tourism. I think the South Korean government put a ban on it since that, that happened, so. I think a South Korean walked into a military base and was shot. So that's all the details I know. So that's just from what I've been told. Anyway, so now there's nobody here apart from us. I didn't see, there was no North Korean tourists up there. I don't know what that means or, but they were doing lots of maintenance up there, painting it. I don't know if that's because it's coming into summertime and they're expecting a lot of tourists or I really don't know. But it's been so hot lately. It was 38 degrees. I think yesterday or the day before, it's 35 today. Before I continue what I was saying there, I just wanted to show you around this hotel because it's pretty interesting. So I'll show you just one or two features that kind of stick out to me and then we'll continue with the outro there. But I think a quick tour of the hotel is uh, something pretty interesting. Um, I'll show you. Still the plastic wrap on these light shades. But I'll take you for a walk down to the hotel lobby because it's unreal. I'll show you. So I'm on the 10th floor right now. Normally they've been putting us really quite high up uh, in the hotel rooms. Look at this. Unreal. Going down. But it's like super modern, but you'll notice a few bits and pieces on the edges aren't completely like finished like I'm not trying to make it look really bad I'm just showing some little things that stuck out to me because it's a super beautiful hotel um, there's a huge painting down here I'll show you hopefully the hotel staff don't get weird about me filming but they should be okay I'll show you now I probably won't talk too much but I'll show you so this is the mountain where General Kim Jong-il was born Big grand entrance there. I know I've said it a lot, but you have to remember that there was used to be heaps of tourists here, but now it's empty. Bar here. You can get a beer for like two euros or something, and three waters for one US dollar. There's no one around, it's really quite bizarre. It looks like there's more upstairs. I'll go and see if I can explore upstairs. And they play this music seriously everywhere you go. They got pool, 
table tennis. Those are the mountain ranges. Hello. Karaoke. Very beautiful. And then you can always buy things. They're always selling bits and pieces. This is the tiger, which is the national animal. I think they have a few up north, but not many around this area. Am I allowed to go up here? Can I? Yeah? Okay. It's really quite beautiful. <laughs> I guess that's where we're having dinner tonight. Incredible artwork everywhere. <laughs> it's unreal. And I think our group are the only people staying in this whole place. People behind me are in my group. 10 people in our group in this whole hotel. 12 to 15 stories high. But like, it's seriously, Incredible, look at this. You really can't imagine something like this exists. There might be a few Chinese guests in there, I'm not quite sure. Cut back to the outro that I was originally doing, but I just filmed this little clip because I filmed the outro first and then I was like, I want to show this hotel, so. Anyway, enough talking. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow we're going to back to Pyongyang, so I think we might go to the ski resort on the way. It'll be interesting to check that out. If you're liking these North Korean videos, if this one's the first you've watched, then the rest of the series will be linked at the end of the video or down below. Stay tuned for the next episode because still, still a lot more to come from North Korea. So thanks for watching. In case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.